Hey, what's up, tours? This is Super Down. Today, I got another video here on the screen. You have the new Q file hub, all right? Formerly the RAV Power File Hub. The thing about this device, it is wireless. So, if you're taking a long trip on a plane, on a bus, or inside your vehicle, you'll be able to share your media, your music with five other devices now in the past you actually saw me say i used to load my devices up on a flash drive and connect it to my tablet or phone and actually watch my media also using the otg but no longer will i be doing that so right here um this is again the new queue let's open it up that way you see it And it's very very nice included is the, the instructions but make sure if you don't have 2020 vision you have on some bifocals because the print is very very small all right included as the device but less as well as a micro usb all right for charging your device now the charging does last up to like six hours so make sure you always keep you know your charger near um and then go from there so here it is right here again it's called the new q i got it off of amazon but you can go to the website just to get it a little bit cheaper i just don't know how long it'll take before it arrived to your residence so unfortunately i ain't gonna say unfortunate um but on the side right here as you see you have the power button which is right here when you turn it around you have a cover all right very very important when you open it up you got a usb you got your charging capabilities and you got your rj45 the thing about this rj45 let's say if you're at a hotel you can actually use the hotel ethernet and plug it into here and you can go into the settings of the app and actually set up your own network and it will perform better than what you have in the uh, hotel very very nice and very very nice and then over here you can set it up this button right here you can set it up for 2.4 or 5g the thing about this it does take a full hd i mean a full sd not hd but a full sd and that's one of these right here so if you put your media on here you can actually share it also with the USB, which I have right here, I got an external SSD where I have some content on here and I can share it with any of these devices without them using any of their internet. All right, and it's very, very nice. So when you plug it up right here, you actually um, turn this device into a router and you can make it wireless. So it's very, very nice, man. And one thing about it, you do have a one button which is right here so if i put this sd card in and then connect whatever i have on here i can actually copy it on to um another external device whether it's a flash drive or something like this so with that being said guys i'm telling you it's very very nice um it does work on all android platforms including the app store which works on ipad iphones very 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 nice i'm going to power this unit up all right and let's should get it as you see it right there and i preset this up because i've been using it for like three to four weeks it is fabulous i'm telling you and of course as you see it is low so i'm gonna just charge it up as well i forgot to charge this bad boy last night but I'm glad you're seeing that. So I can just plug this in. That way I'm charging it. And you see it went from red to white because it's accepting the charge. Sorry about that for in this video. All right. So with that being said, this is my personal phone. I will get this connected, but I do have some apps on here that I cannot display for the haters. You already know how that go. But with this right here, I'm going to turn on this tablet. All right. Let me put in my code. okay so on this tablet the application is right here this is what you're going to have to download um the rav file hub 
application that's on that that's inside the app store and google play the rav file hub all right so we're gonna leave that one right here let me set this iphone up as you see it is an iphone and i got to put my code into here as well all right and as you see it it is right here the rav file hub so you got to get that from the app store and again, I will set this one up right here. I have some apps on this one as well. And right there at the top, you actually see it. So go into the Google Play Store or the App Store and proceed from there, all right? Now, the one thing about it, you have to, when you have this connected, all right, you set it up you have to go to the network so you have to go into your settings i'm gonna use this tablet right here this android tablet um to show you so you have to connect it to the rav the new q um um device so i'm going to network and right now it's on my minds but uh i'm gonna connect it right here it's called new q but it comes as new hub hopefully you'll be able to see that so I'm gonna connect it to the new hub. All right, so it's obtaining. All right, so it says connected. All right, so I'm gonna open up the RAV file hub. And right now it's not displaying anything, right? So watch this. I'm going to connect. I'm going to connect this up right now. That way, connect it to the USB. We should be getting some information shortly. All right, to show that it is connected. All right, and there you saw it. You saw it pop up. So all you have to do, if you want to play your content, you just go into the file management. All right, and I already got some folders set up, as you can see right here, but for this video i cannot go into the movies even though i can go up in here i can show you what i have on here as you see right there but i'm not going to play it but i do have some youtube some of my videos right here and so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and play my son highlights i'm gonna turn the audio down because it does have um audio and that way you see it right here all right the same goes for this one i'm gonna I'm gonna hit the application and it's already set up right here you're gonna see how much space um, content is on here or maybe I do have to connect it to the network so let's do this let's make sure all right let's go into settings Wi-Fi all right so it's not connected so let's connect it right here and I'm doing this in real time guys very very nice so imagine you on a plane you're doing all of this you on a you know you in a vehicle you could just put all your content on right, on a drive a flash drive or whatever and you could take it with you all right so it looked like it's connected all right i'm going to the rav right here and as you see it displays how much content how much space i have i'm just going to the file management there's so much so many things you could do i'm gonna go to youtube and i'm gonna go to my son highlights all right let me turn the volume down all right and i was playing some movies in here earlier all right so stop that hold up And again, I was playing some content earlier. All right, so I'm gonna go my son highlights at the top. And there it is. So you got two devices right now. You can turn it um, landscape mode right there. So they're still playing. All right, that's two for my Mac users. All right. Let me do this. Uh, go into the network first. All 
Let me, uh, where is you at? Wi-Fi. And again, I'm just going to connect it. And wait for it to connect. As you see, it's finding it right now. And you see those two are still playing, guys. All right. So it's connected. As you see the check mark. Let's go over here to the RAV where I have it right here. Let's connect this bad boy. And I was doing that earlier too. So you actually see, um, so let me go back. All right, I'm going to file management. And again, I'm gonna go to YouTube right here. All right, and I'm gonna go to my son highlights. And you see how it plays immediately. All right. So that three devices playing so far, as you see, and everything is still displaying. From there, guys, I'm going to go to my personal phone. Let me do this. All right. Let me connect. You know, there's certain things you can't play because the haters are watching. And I do have some... Um, some items on here that I cannot display to y'all. And so again, I'm connecting. So I have three Androids. All right, so it's connected. Now let me go into the file. All right, there we have it. It's going to display the content. As you see, it popped up. I'm going to file management. And you can create folders and everything just like a regular hard drive on your on your external device and then you can just go and choose and so right there and let me do this right quick there we go loading hit the play and again hold up let me do this Make sure the volume is down, hold up. And there you have it. All right. Four devices, but it, it goes up to five. It goes all the way up to five. Sorry about that. Let me hit play. But five devices, as you see right here. So just to show you, everything is playing all in real time. So there you have it guys it's very very easy to set up very 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 nice and again guys you can just enjoy it put your media on the go using either a sd card all right full or you can use a flash drive you can use an external ssd as long as you know it has the usb to plug in here and again remember that this device right here is a router as well because it's sharing it's a lot it will allow you to connect to the network that way you can use like a hotel um um internet and actually make it better guys so I hope you got this. Listen, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment area. If you're familiar with RAV Power, um, please, I would love to know your thoughts. There's so many things you could do. I just gave you an easy um, display of this, you know, as far as carrying your media on the go. So while we're traveling, me and the family is traveling, I will put a lot of movies on here some music on here some tv shows and as we're driving up the road you know we will everybody will be able to watch whatever they want to watch now let me say this before i go it works in 720 it works in 1080 all right now if you put some 4k content it's going to cause problems it's going to cause problems and that's what you don't want so just stick to the 720 or the 1080p and you will be fine it's not powerful enough to run 4k right now really when you use a multiple multiple devices other than that guys i appreciate you watching this video thumbs up the video 
subscribe if you're not subscribed also guys click that bell icon and click all that way you get all the content that i display on youtube hope to hear from you uh, let me know your thoughts on this but this is a very very nice device i will not be using this anymore guys i will probably use this as a backup just in case you know this is not charged up but make sure you you charge this up also guys before i go you can also use this as a power bank to charge these devices as well all right i forgot to tell you that this is a power bank as well so remember that and then you go from there guys i appreciate the love talk to you later the super dale i'm out this mother peace